convenience, fast, busy, innovative, and clean. Now, let's look at how the Beijing subway has developed into what it's like today. Beijing subway started construction in 1965 using cut and cover method. The first section of the Beijing subway, now known as Line One, was completed on October 1, 1969, going from Gongzhufeng to Beijing Railway Station. It is extended west to Pinguoyuan in 1973. In 1981, Beijing Subway was officially approved by the government to be opened in public. In 1984, the second section of the Beijing Subway, now known as Line 2, was completed. In 1987, the section of Line 1 from Changchun Jie to Beijing Railway Station was given to Line 2, and Line 1 was extended to Fuxinglen. By 2000, Line 1 was extended to Sihui East. In 2003, Line 13 and Batong Line opened. In 2007, Line 5 opened being the first modern line with full consideration on it going to be a passenger or service rather than military use. It is also the first line with a platform screen door. In 2008, Beijing subway supported using contrarless e-carton card and contrarless tickets instead of paper tickets. Also preparing for the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games, Subway Line 10 and the tiny section of Subway Line 8 as well as the Airport Express opened. After 2008, Beijing subways began rapidly expanding with more lines in the city areas and lines, going to suburban areas as well. In December 30, 2017, Beijing Subway made its first self-driving line near from Line as a representative construction project. Also, the first low-speed map lift was open to public in the same day. Now to further investigate the Beijing subway, we went to Golden Heights and interviewed some of the elders to see their points of view. We started by asking them if they take the subway to work. She also rides bike to buy groceries. It is clear by now that the older generation of people lives close to almost every place that they need to go. So transportation is not really needed to go to places. That's when she was young. But let's take a look at how she prefers to go now. So we can now conclude that this woman never really takes the subway much. Now let's interview some of our students. There are a lot more controversies to opinion on Beijing subway. Now, let's take a look at the technologies the subway uses. Beijing subway line 1 is the first line in Beijing wheel transit system. 
It has been reformed many times during its life. The most significant change can be seen from its twins and its signaling system. Subway Line 1 has gone through a few signal system upgrades. With the newest one, it's been able to allow the train to automatically drive between the stations, both preventing troubles caused by the small mistakes from the driver and making the train a little bit more comfortable for passengers. Subway Line 5 began the transition to the modernized Beijing subway system with new aesthetics and features. For example, the platforms are a lot bigger and the stations have been completely redesigned aesthetically. More progress has been made starting 2015. Line 7 began to have calligraphy for the station names as a decoration. Line 16 had a unique design for the lightning in every station. And stations in the brand new S1 line and Yanfang line all have modern station design language. Ensuring the safety of the passengers is premier important. Beijing Subway began installing screen doors to the stations starting with Line 5. Screen doors are used to protect passengers from falling into the trap and being run over by the train. This feature is eventually added onto the older lines such as Line 1, Line 2, and Line 13. Stations and lines will also have to adapt to the changes of the plan as well. For example, one of the oldest stations in the subway system, Pingguoyuan Station will close for a renovation to become an interchange station for Line 1, Line 6, and Beijing Metro. I'm at Beijing Subway Line 1, Pingguoyuan Station. This station is the oldest subway station in Beijing. It was built in 1969 and it will be closed on the February this year for a renovation. Where it's reopened in 2020, it will be the modern station and a major interchange station for Line 1, Line 6, and Beijing Metro. Beijing Subway started experimenting with some new revolutionary technology since 2017. With Xijiao Line, the tram that goes to some major tourist sites in Beijing such as Summer Palace and the Frequent Hill. S1 Line is the first commercially available low-speed maglev in China. Finally, Yanfang Line, the first made in China self-driving train. I'm currently at Xiucheng Station of Yanfang Line. This is one of the newest subway stations in Beijing. As you can see, the train behind me is completely self-driving. This is the first self-driving train in Beijing and also in China. Yanfang Line is also the first line in Beijing which has the waiting hall. As you can see, the room behind me is the waiting hall of Xincheng Station. Beijing subway has carried more than 10 million people every day to their work family and tourist attractions. It is one of the busiest and most advanced road transit system in the world. Beijing subway stimulated development on both urban and suburban areas. It spreads out the congested population in Beijing. The development of Beijing is centered around Beijing rail transit system, the China's capital liner. 